Okay, you guys, I'm standing here with the lens in my hand, and I have to say I'm pretty happy. I measured the, now you can see it, I measured, let's see, there's my hand, I measured a four inch perimeter around the outside of the work, so it's all four inches, a border, and then in between this little guy and this area, I did a two inch space. Now, if my mind serves me right, I think this was four inches maybe, and I think that was six inches, and then I don't really know what that is. I just made it fill in. I separated these are all one type of shell in two different colors. This, for the most part, is all the same type of shell, but I bleached half of them with the anti-galcati, which was a mistake, and so half of them have color, half of them don't. And then the top, we're all accidentally bleached with this anti-calcati, this anti-calcium thing, which was not a good choice. But the bottom line is this is Francesca's Rothko, and I have to say I am really, really happy with it, really happy with it. What I do need to do is buy more um, of that uh, Vildesil, whatever the hell the name of that glue is, and I've got to put a coat over all of the seashells to seal them, which will also pr protect them a second time from not falling off. And in the interim, I'm going to come down and let's see if I can't show you some of the seashells. Oh, okay, so let's start with these. Whoops, I'm holding this in my hand. And uh, what you'll see is that the glue dried clear, but it's still shiny. It's kind of like mosaic seashells. And then you can see where you see that white right there. That's still wet. That hasn't dried, but that will dry. And the, and the white in between all of these will dry all different types of seashells and then there's the the second half of this where you can see the color clearly got lighter is because I bleached those babies I didn't mean to but I followed somebody's advice that didn't either they didn't whoops I'm dropping seashells now these are really really pretty seashells look at these guys if you could imagine now before I screwed up these seashells and bleach them with the anti calcare I'm going to show you what they should have been looking like. These are, well, yeah, hold on. Where are they? There they are. Okay, let me get down on my knees. Oh. Ow. Okay, you guys, sorry about this. Let me tip this a little bit better so I can see what I'm doing. Well, these are these really cool things that, um, are squishy and they're, I don't know what they are, but they're from the beach and I want to use them. But here, let me pull those out of this basket. And then the ones that I bleached white, <laughs> you want to see how pretty they were before I screwed them up? Look at the colors on these babies. Look at that. And because I took somebody's advice that really didn't know what they were talking about, put them here. Let's see. Look at the color differences. So don't do what I did. You see the color differences on these babies? This person didn't know what the hell they were talking about when they gave the advice. You know? So that's how much these shells bleached out. But at least I've made something useful and pretty with them. And then these are my really pretty shells, and I'm going to save them. Now let's show you some more. Okay, this right here, I'm trying to get the camera over it, is all broken seashells. So I, when I sorted the shells, these are all broken. I don't know what I'm going to do with those. These are really, really special. Sorry, my wire is here. These are... You know, my God, I can't help it. I, I get very passionate about things. The stupidest things. <laughs> Let's see, I'm trying to see. Look at that seashell. The lines and textures on these are unbelievable. So this is a, all one type of seashell that has really high... See that? Yeah, that was a good one. There we go. All right. Got to get them on the right angle. And then you can see. 
So these are special ones. Oh, this one. Look at this one. Striped. Uh, I don't know what the ticket is to try to get this to see it better. It's not coming out as clear as I want. All right. Then I have this other basket, which this one is all these kind of guys. Bunch of those, and I made some art with those. And then I've got all of these really delicate things. These are all seashells, too. The Italians, I found these in the ocean. I collected them myself, but they um, close, and an animal was in it. They're very fragile, but they're very pretty. And you guys know I've got my sand, because I don't know where, where or when. I've got my sponges. Oh, these were another type. Wow, these are, because I've sorted them all. Here, let me see, I'll show you. Look at this guy. You know? That would be interesting to know. And, and it's a very particular type of shell. And I've got a bunch of those in this bag. And I've got my sponge it's from the ocean that I found. I've got my bag of wood and rocks from the ocean. And then this is just a basket of my most specialist shells. Look at this guy. Can't really see the color of him. And there's just amazing, amazing shells in here. This is just my most specialist. And I don't know. Oops, you don't belong in there. You belong over there. But there's all kinds of amazing shells. Oh, like this guy. Look at this guy. These were unique. All right. This was just gravel that was left, whoops, because I may just use it, so I'm not throwing away my broken shells. I'm not throwing away my gravel, because I don't know if it'll come in handy. And I've got rocks from the water, smooth, and then these other things. But I'm not getting rid of any of them, because I don't know how I'm going to use them. All right, that's about it, you guys. Bye.